Hey everybody, I'm Axel Grave, back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content creator by using the links on screen and in the description below. If you'd like to support our channel, use the info at the end of this video to like, comment, subscribe, follow, join our Discord, or become a patron at patreon.com slash 3D. Thanks for listening to my boring spiel, and I hope you enjoy the video. And here, episode 4, Fault. Well, everybody's at fault, partially. No, 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 none of that. No intros for you. All right. Indeed. You should have seen the look oh, on God. Joanna's face. Yeah, there we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> you should have seen the look on Joanna's face. Who the is this? Oh, hey. Took that. me a second to recognize her. At least, not fair and square. Was it Robin Sparrow? Okay, all right. I thought I was right, but I, I didn't want to be like, you know... So Robin, Batman, Nightwing, who the f is enough? Sirenwood should have paid for better cell block entertainment. <clears throat> and he smiles. Did I win? Hey, it's your game. I don't make the rules. Hey, he added a little more gruffness to his voice. Not bad. It wasn't your fault. It was, though. I made a deal with the darkness. And he paid the price. It's all happening so fast. But Clover wouldn't let up. Could have worked together against Tyrion if Clover just... Everybody at fault there. But the thing that really stings, for the first time in a while, I thought, maybe, maybe I could be around somebody, anybody, without my semblance making it... complicated. And now, it just feels like a childish dream gone like everybody else believe it or not i know a little what that's like when people are worried you're gonna sniff out their secrets they tend to push you away it makes a real connection stop having secrets difficult i never thought of it that way secrets are a blight upon honesty you don't oh no the camera Kill him. I'd say, come take it from me, it bitch. Covered in his blood. If you really want to know what happened in Mohawk, why not open the cell and take my hand? <laughs> uh, if I open the cell, it won't be to shake hands. Yeah, because you don't care about the truth. You just want someone to be mad at. Ooh. Taking an honest look at what side you're on. Stuck the truth. Stuck it. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Maybe being a decent human being for the first time in a couple episodes? Well, maybe. That was almost exciting. Once again, one of those things where decency, morality, and the military never get along. That's not how that works. <laughs> I cannot even remember what the f they were doing. It has been so long. I don't know how much longer these bikes can stand the cold. I'm really wishing one of us could fly right now. Wait, hold on. Ren, going to get you up there. Oh, that's right. It's got him. Oh shit! I forgot about that. Now I remember the weird ass Grim. Ooh. Okay, not as nice. Yeah. I'm not gonna even give him shit for that, cause I don't have much of a There's not really much you can do in midair. Oh. Okay, cool. I There it is. Did it just call for backup? Here 
it is this is nice progression though i will say in showing their power and i enjoy that because you know season three john would not be able to do this shit Nice. Well, and he's still John. I enjoy that. All right. to the save oh damn I'm honestly surprised he was able to do that after taking such a beating on those rocks man big ups oh, you picked a fine time to not another word we're coming in I hate this little shit so much things are already bad enough after what you did to father now you want us to harbor you did too? to father Our family has a reputation not after you were having a fugitive as the top of your fucking family all the house staff and mother locked herself in her room maybe you haven't figured out what's going on whitley but we're busy trying to save atlas look our friend is hurt we just need a place to lay low while she rests knock this motherfucker out what is the point fine what do you expect me to do then nothing go to your room Ball. I'll expect what I've expected of you the entire time, Westington. Nothing. <laughs> Ruby. Oh wait, it's being smarmy. That's what I expect. Right. If you're worried about Yang, you could always try calling her. That's the thing. I did. Oh no. Oh no. I repeat, if anybody can hear me. Damn, they stranded, stranded. Transport back to Mantle. We need to get out of this weather before the cold drops our ores completely. How much farther to the outpost? Ren, how much? I don't know. I thought you said you saw it when you were up in the air. I did, before I had to cut myself loose to help you guys. Yeah. You oh, that's what he's, that's why he's mad. He's just Something being a dick. Not really. Wouldn't want to waste any more time. <laughs> hey, what is your deal? Don't worry about it. Well, I'm sorry if things aren't going smoothly enough for you. Guys. They're not going smoothly at all. I hate to break it to you, but that's part of being a huntsman. Are you kidding? We don't know the first thing about being huntsmen. We clearly weren't ready. Guys, stop it. Were we not ready when we saved Haven? When we took down a Leviathan? We got the lamp to Atlas. And then we lost it. And after that, when we had to make real decisions, we got every single one wrong. I'm yeah! Sure we like we did everything perfectly. Thank you, Ren. Nothing, things would be even worse than they are now. How could they possibly be worse? We are stuck out here while Salem has the lamp and Oscar. We've got no plan, no army. We've got the Maiden. And by keeping her from opening the vault for Ironwood, we're just trapping the whole city for Salem. People are going to die because of us. So what, we should just give Ironwood what he wants? Abandon Mantle? You think Atlas is still gonna be able to float to safety now that she's here? I don't know, but these aren't the kinds of decisions we should be making because we have no idea what we're doing. Okay, both of you, cut it out. I'm just saying what nobody else wants to. We're in way over our heads. Ruby is barely more than a kid. I'm just an orphan from the middle of nowhere. Ren, I am- You cheated your way into bacon. That's the truth. If he can't take that like a man. <laughs> I'm getting out of the cult. <laughs> Said, if the truth hurts, sorry. Seriously, is your goal just to push everyone away? Although, Ren's totally being dick. He's totally right on every single count. <laughs> Don't 
Oh yeah, yeah. Going to be okay. To be fair, she asked. She fucking asked, man. My long lost Ozma. Oh no. Found at last. So small, this new host of yours. I it's did. Wonder, my hound it was very interesting. You. It's been how many years since we saw each other like this, face to face? I can't tell if those are just darker spots or cuts out of his arm. Okay, it's moving. I'm sorry, the reunion isn't interesting. Your expectations. You can pretend, boy, but you're not fully him. Not yet, at least. Yeah. Well, it's just earlier I was looking at some of the dark splotches and I couldn't tell if they were just darker or they were like cut out and it's cut out because his skin's moving. have been unable to locate the relic beneath the school. If I know my Ozma, he has used some means of deception to hide its location differently than the others. I need to know where it is. I That's not something I know about. Of course. You would keep that one guarded as long as possible. How about something easier then? The password for the lamp. The lamp has the password? The lamp is all out of questions. That lie doesn't work every time, dog. Was a very colorful attack for a villain. So easily. Rainbow lasers, rainbow lasers. Like minded souls, indeed. One of you is going to tell me what you know. I don't much care if it is you or Ozma. Either way, I'll finally have the relic. I won't tell you anything. Wait, wait. That was for Haven Academy. Everything that follows will be for my sister. If only your sister could see you now, I wonder what she would say, Hazel. Wonder what she would say. Is that an experiment? So far, I am pleased with the results. Did you need something, Cinder? Yes, I. I want to search for the Winter Maiden. I think. Do you hear that, my pet? She thinks. She wants. As if she's done something that warrants me caring about either of those things. We're just sitting and waiting. Without the maiden power, the vault means nothing. Let me claim it for you. I will tell you when and where you are needed. But your grace. <laughs> I'd like to think I have shown a great And she's scared of it. That's weak. Aren't you a winter mate or not a winter? What's her maiden again? Summer, winter, fall. Aren't you a maiden, a trained maiden? Is that clear? To be scared of Cinder. Yes. Or not sinner. To be scared of that monster as opposed. I just can't. Yeah. He. Yeah, it must be that. I'm gonna just take it as that. Cause I. She's supposed to be real badass. So far, I've only seen one person shown as theoretically stronger than her who is not Salem or Ozpin. Or the gods, I guess. They wouldn't just abandon their misguided attempt to save the world. Uh, if she doesn't want to, I'll come. I've been working on my semblance. I can help. I won't tell anybody. How much did you overhear? 
one one person substituting a parent figure for someone who is also substituting someone for a parent figure. The parent substitution inception is insane. I was bigger than that mistake. You've got people around you too. You don't have to force yourself to be strong. The more you hide from what you're feeling, the more alone you're going to feel. Trust me. He's not a talky feely kind of guy. If anyone cares, I found a part to fix the bike. So, yay! Good news. For what it's worth, I'm sorry he said that to you. But it's I know the you truth. had to work hard to get here, Jean. <laughs> We're all he did, but right that's what it's like saying you're five five and saying it's an insult. It's not an insult. It's the truth. I mean, not for him, but say for me. I don't know. Said if you have shame in your actions, that's on you. It's not an insult stating the truth ever. Ruby is your sister. She's always going to love you, even if you disagree with each other. Yeah. Ruby. <sighs> I need to get some sleep, but I can't stop thinking about Oscar. Go on. I'll make sure Ren doesn't brood himself to death out in the cold. Ah, good friends. Thanks. I just have a bad feeling. Things always seem to get worse before they get better. That I, I just don't see that one. It said, being a dick, yes, but it's not an insult when someone tells you the truth. If you're insulted by it, that's a whole different story. Oof. Oh, wow. Man, that felt quick. So quick, man. Ugh. I gotta wait again. <laughs> no, it was really good, though. I enjoy it. I, I'm finally happy somebody came out and fucking said it. In that they might not be taking the best course of action. I was just waiting. Once again, it's... And not saying that they are taking the wrong course of action. Just saying that that is a distinct possibility. You must... If if it's like... If you have the possibility... Oh, ab absolutely. And even beyond that, uh, the subjectivity of what is and what is not, right? For there to be the possibility of you to be right, there must also be the possibility of you to be wrong. That's just how chance and things work in general. There's the opposites uh, and balances. There is no one. It's one of two. Light, dark, up, down, you know, very basic. So that there's always a second way to look at the perspective. And now, once again, I think currently Ruby and them are in the right. Because at this point, with Salem knocking on the gates and given the size and scope of the forces she's displayed, there there is no good indicator that she won't somehow make it up to the atmosphere or whatever. Exactly. It, and it's always going to be a shit shoot for both sides. You, unless you can see the future, and even then, you're probably fucked. Uh, Mm -hmm. oh absolutely and once again the arguments can <laughs> and if you want to have arguments about this go ahead and take a utilitarianism class on ethics and you'll see where this argument eventually pops through uh same thing about uh <laughs> the the safety versus freedom issue right like it, there's always going to be an interim point of 
you cannot pass one without the other. There's no perfect balance of freedom and safety. There's no perfect uh, plan or any of that. And so, once again, I think at this point, the Ruby kids are are functioning better off of the information they're given. They're functioning less biasedly in the sense that they're open to the context of the situation, which is really well displayed by Crow's interaction with uh, What's-Her-Nuts. Robin. Uh, yes, Robin, but more Robin's interaction with, sorry, uh, the Harriet, yeah, the running chick, in that if you are not willing to consider all the possibilities, you've already put yourself at a disadvantage. You know, Sherlock Holmes said, uh, you know, eliminate anything that is impossible. What remains must be the truth. He did not say, fuck that guy over there. I don't think he's right. Uh, that was not in his repertoire. I'm pretty sure. I've read a couple of Sherlock's. I don't think that he said that ever. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but no, I really like, that's the other thing I really like about these last two seasons is there is no right answer. It reminds me of the... Marvel when they did Civil War, not the movie, but the comic series, in that it, there was no right answer to this question or problem. There were just two different opinions. And, and as always, in any context, you have to come to a uh, compromise. Sometimes that compromise is I kill everybody on the other side. But <laughs> that's... <laughs> <laughs> you might not see that as a compromise, but one side had to give their lives and the other side got what they wanted. So, <laughs> um, no, it's very interesting. <laughs> I just say it was. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, it's a con promise for sure. Uh, it's absolutely great. I love the pacing. So far, I feel like they're doing a really good job. Yeah. Well, because they said this whole this whole thing happened in what, two days or something this season, they said, or 48 hours? To the time span, yeah, yeah. In time span, it takes two, yeah. Trust me, I get that, because uh, of too much anime. Yeah, anime time. But no, I was actually very impressed. I, I like the pacing. It is a bit fast, but it's supposed to be. It's just rough for me because we've been waiting. Me, not as long as you guys, obviously, but we've been waiting, and so I want to savor it more. And at this speed, with this kind of tempo of a story, this is not a savoring story. This is a ride. You know what I mean? This is a ride onto the roller coaster, which is, once again, no problem with that. That's just my feelings of it. It's like, man, I wanna, I'm probably going to have to go back and watch these again and get some, get some real... Yeah, it really does flow like that, as opposed to other Ruby seasons, which, with the exception of maybe one or two, really ran like anime shows. You know what I mean? They're, they did have a continuous plot, but there were self-contained stories in, in episodes. Yeah, episodic for sure. Whereas this one really is... Uh, it, it's funny that it reminds me of a couple different writing styles, but the ability to move between characters like this in a big, diverse landscape uh usually harkens back to the original the original one being lord of the rings but modern takes being a bunch of different shows do that with these large casts of characters in separate areas oh yeah oh yeah well that's because they're all based that's because they're all based off of lord of the rings but yeah well, we'll not we'll not get into that we won't get into the fact that most everything medieval was stolen from Tolkien. Uh, or not medieval, but fantasy medieval. Uh, but beyond that, I mean, there's a lot of good to take into this. 
I I'll have to watch again to get more criticisms. Once again, my criticisms in the show usually don't lie with the show itself, but rather the choices of characters in the show. Which then people are like, put this and this, and I was like, that doesn't make it a smart decision just because it fits their character standard. Like, yes, it makes sense for them to do it as a character. That still makes it dumb, right? Like, the, the, the character who plays a cracked-out meth head on shrooms, it makes sense for him to dig his eyeball out with a scalpel. That doesn't make it smart. <laughs> yeah, there's just shit like that. Uh, what's, uh, what's the name of uh, Blake's little brother again? Wesley? No. Or Weiss, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whitley, right. He's my best example of that, where I, I was talking shit and people were like, oh, well, he has an alcoholic mother and an abusive father. I was like, cool, that doesn't make him not a little dickbag. He's still a little dickbag. I also would like t t to note that I... That doesn't make him not a dickbag. You, you guys excuse you guys excuse toxic behavior way too much for uh, based on people's pasts. When, when in reality, there's no excuse for toxic behavior. Once again, I know people who are abandoned at 10 years old who treat people just fine. And I mean like abandoned in a house by themselves with no food. Still treat people just fine. They never beat their wives, never shot their friend. You know what I mean? None of that crazy shit that people are like, well, he had issues. I was like, ah, must have. I, mm. I don't know how bad they could be, man, but shit. <laughs> I, I absolutely do. I just hate it when that's the excuse. You gotta you gotta own up to your bad shit. So it's, oh absolutely. Absolutely. And once again, nothing is ever cut and dried. It just like there's no perfection and you know all this other stuff nothing's ever real cut and dried all right man well that's our episode four we're gonna have to i have to wait till saturday actually not even friday because i haven't been the first member yet god damn it. uh but we'll be back on those and do those great thanks for joining us i'm glad we were able to like uh you know get together and do it because i know sometimes if you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you'd sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.